A special hello to all my fellow Beetlejuice fans and multiversus masochists. Welcome or welcome back to McFly, my little corner on the internet where I just sit here and talk about games and stuff. I'll be your host, hoping for more free Batman skins. And in this one, we're talking about multiverses again. We're on a roll, but more specifically, the future of multiverses. And with that being said, this is your one and true final spoiler warning. So click off now if you don't want to know anything about the future of multiverses until it's officially revealed. But if you decided to stay, I can't go any farther without thanking the person that provided this knowledge. And a special thank you to Game Guardian over at the Multiverses Leaks Discord. I stumbled across this Discord the other day, falling down an internet rabbit hole, and they are doing the people's work here. So buckle up. Again, click off if you don't want to see anything in the future. It's probably going to be revealed soon, but we get our sneak peek. Also, I should preface this by saying I'm basically just going to be going through the next couple weeks. There is a lot more here. There is a little special thing at the end, but that's more for me and Batman players, so stay tuned for that if you're a Batman player. But I'm not trying to go too deep here, I'm just trying to do the lead up to Beetlejuice, because that is the real question here. Where, when, when are we going to get Beetlejuice? When is he going to show his head? I keep seeing him in all the pictures. Where is he? Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Alright, first up is an event called Welcome to the Afterlife. Starting August 20th to September 5th, play PvP matches similar to what we've been doing at events, but then of course it changes to wear a Beetlejuice tagged variant in battle and earn 50% more event points in Battle Pass XP. The rewards for this event is 2000 Battle Pass XP, 1200 Fighter Currency, 100 Gleamium, and 2 Green Beetles. Which leads to, yes, another currency, similar to the Metal and the Circuit Credit, we have the Green Beetles. Green Beetles can be used in another event store, which will open up once this event starts in the store. But how about that? Another currency, Green Beetles. Very fitting for a Beetlejuice. And then, of course, take this with a grain of salt. This could be all the information. This could not be all the information. Just because the skins you see here doesn't mean these are all the skins. There could be a skin for your favorite character. We just haven't seen it yet. But they're pretty standard. They're just Beetlejuice themed. Black and white stripes, purple, kind of like dead looking undead, we'll say. Like cartoonish undead. Here we have Bugs, Taz, Taz looks pretty zombie-ish, an Iron Giant skin, making him look all Beetlejuicy, it kind of looks like the suit. We have Marvin with the shoes, Shazam's I think came out pretty good, I don't even play Shazam, but I like the color distribution, and then it, it kind of makes him look like an elf, because of the pale skin. They did really well with this one. Jack just gets some eyeliner, and I'm not a fan of what they did to the coat, it should just be white, it should not have stripes. And the Joker's is fire. His is very fitting. He was meant to be in this kind of suit, whether it be a Beetlejuice event or not. Jason, also very fitting. I like to see the Beetlejuice effect on him, and I'm glad they make the mask purple. Then we got Smith, same tuxedo of treatment. Harley's also is very fitting. I don't know, I guess it's because they're just clowns in general, but it's just a, a different shade for them. They already wear stripes as it is. Jake, also getting the tuxedo treatment. Rain Dog looking undead. Shaggy. We're not going to talk about Shaggy. Steven Universe looking very cartoony. I like the green. Then we have Superman, which gives me more Joker vibes than actual Beetlejuice. Tom and Jerry, across the colors, but still looking pretty undead. And then that's all that I have for now. I'm hoping that there's more because I'm hoping that there's a Batman skin. But also alongside that event, we also have another event featuring Beetlejuice himself. And it's called the Ghost with the Toast. And like I said, this one runs alongside the last event. This one's just more of the Rift event. So yeah, from August 25th to September 5th, collect objective stars from the Insanity Path of the Ghost with the Toast Rift to earn gem XP for a special event only toasty gem, one green beetle, and up to 2,000 battle pass XP, and 700 fighter currency. So like I said, this is more of the Rift one, similar to the Samurai Jack one that we have like literally right now in game. But this is going to have to be the insanity path. That's going to be interesting. And giving us our third green beetle. All right. Well, sidebar and it's time for theory time. <laughs> All right. It's not even really a theory. I just feel like anybody could match up these timings on a calendar and just be like, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm sure you'd agree with me, right? All right. So Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the second Beetlejuice film releases in theaters on September 6th. And both of these events feature Beetlejuice and run up to September 5th. Do you see what I'm getting at? Now, it's pretty obvious, at least to me, that's how it looks. So I would hope this is the case, right? I feel like Multiversus has fumbled a few things in the past, but I hope this is the case this time. 
But the question is, how is he going to be obtainable? Because he's not through the battle pass, and they're kind of loading us up with a bunch of fighter currency. Well, they have been, I guess. But the question is, will he be available for fighter currency? Are we going to have to work for him? I have a theory that you have to say Beetlejuice three times to summon him. They're giving us three green beetles to spend in the store. I'm going to go back to my theory that maybe hang on to your green beetles. Maybe they'll release him at the end of the events for three green beetles. Just a guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. All right, but theory time over. That's really what I think. I, Beetlejuice is going to pop up either like the end of this event, through the event, September 6th when it releases. But I'm curious if they're going to lock him behind a paywall or not. Do you think they would really do that? But I don't have any kind of gameplay or actual like roster pictures of Beetlejuice, but we do have a couple data mine pictures of the events coming up, which shows him like not in a circuit drone outfit or anything. It actually shows Beetlejuice. All right, now that's August. Everything else from here on out is just random stuff that has been added to the Discord that are actually in the files and have been discovered. So first we have maps and a few actually look really nice just on an artistic level. All right, first up, we have this Gremlins themed map and it looks like it has Stripe. And he seems to be destroying, I don't know, like a show. Looks pretty nice. Here we have what seems like a dojo, night and day. So I guess this is Samurai Jack themed. Here we have some kind of dessert themed restaurant. I'm not sure if this is Adventure Time or Steven Universe. Definitely a favorite of mine that I like to see. And it reminds me of Pinky and the Brain. I think it is just because of the cage and then the area around. There have also been many hints of Pinky and the Brain. There's a couple balloons here and there. Hopefully we see this one sooner than later because I love this. This is also going to be a favorite of mine. It's Acme. It's probably like a Roadrunner, Coyote kind of thing. Maybe the center probably explodes. I know map functions can kind of be annoying, but this one at least will fit the theme. This one I love. This kind of reminds me of Smash, and then I love the colors, and it's very Bugs Bunny. We have Bugs Bunny's Rabbit Hole, and I'm thinking you're going to be able to go on these different platforms. Kind of like the, the Hyrule map in Smash. Then here we have a wider shot of Townsville on fire. So I'm curious if this is coming with a rift because I think there's a mojo thing coming in the future. So this just might be for that. Here we have a couple skins and it's just a few that are in the files. And here we have one for Jack. Seems like his ancient battle ready armor. A very funny banana card injured. I'm hoping this is an actual skin because it's in the skins folder, but it's actually what pops up also when banana guard loses in a match. But that would be cool if they actually made that a skin, just like an injured banana guard. And then here we have Dr. Finn, which I think was already in a bundle, but I'm not sure. That's why I wanted to throw it in here. I'm not positive, but any Dr. Finn fans. And that's about it. That's really just runs us all the way through August. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. As more comes out in the data mine, I'll probably do a video for September. So if you want to stay tuned for that. And then, of course, if I ever get anything more on Beetlejuice, I'll probably make a following video just, you know, featuring Beetlejuice himself. And then also ask the audience, are you excited for the new movie? Any Beetlejuice fans out there? I'm a huge movie fan. And if we want to talk Beetlejuice in the comments, feel free. Oh, but I almost forgot. There is one thing. It's farther down the line, but it's more for my Batman fans. So if you're a Batman player like me, let us rejoice. Yes, as of right now, and I'm hoping they're free just from, you know, it's an event. So I'm just hoping it's something you can grind towards. But we have to wait till October. It's been data mined. Happy 85th anniversary of Batman in October. Wow. But a new event running from October 1st to October 17th. Complete missions earn up to 2,000 Battle Pass XP, 1,200 Fighter Currency, 100 Gleamium, and two special variants. Now, it, I don't have a picture of the variants. I don't even know if they're actually Batman, but I would hope it's a Batman event. So let's hope that we can grind for like two different Batman variants. I'm only hoping. All we have is this picture, but I'm just fingers crossed that these are two free Batman skins that we can grind for. It's all I asked for. We need some Batman love. We need some free Batman love. But I'll stop gushing about Batman. That's all we got. I'll see you in September. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. A like is always appreciated. All that good YouTube stuff. Go check out Multiverse's Leaks. I'll put a link down in the description. And yeah, I will catch you out there in the multiverse. Oh.